Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I just got some Dan Post boot socks and I'm gonna be trying them here on the video today, so stick with me. I love socks. Not as much as I love cowboy boots though, but it would be my quirk as a rich person, as a millionaire, if I ever get to that point in my life, I think I would get to the point where I would never wear the same pair of socks twice. I love that new sock feeling. You know what I'm talking about. It's like the elasticity of the sock is perfect. It's form fitting. It's never been worn before and it just feels spectacular. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, it's super wasteful to think of never wearing a pair of socks twice, but I think that would have to be my rich quirk. That's just it. Like, I don't need a mansion. I don't need a Lamborghini. Just don't give me the same pair of socks to wear twice. <laughs> and that would be really tough to do with boot socks since they are more expensive than your regular sock, but they also do come up higher on the leg. These boots have a price tag of $11, uh, and these were from Davis Trailer World. I didn't pay for these though, they came with my ostrich boots, and if you haven't seen the video of the review of my ostrich boots or me shopping with my Aunt Kay for those ostrich boots, be sure to check those out because they are really cool videos. But back to trying out these Dan Post boot socks. They are made in America and they go over the calf here. They are cowboy certified. Uh, let's see here. They are made of 42% spun polyester, 27% polyester, 16% Sorbtec, AMY, I'm not sure what that is. I've never heard of that in socks before. 8% nylon, 5% elastic, and 2% spandex. All right, now let's open them up and see how they do. Okay, so as you can see, they are much taller than your average sock. It looks like there's going to be a lot of support around the arch of the foot and the top of the foot as well. I don't know if you can see it, but the elastic right there looks really good and right along with the heel as well. It does have more padding in the bottom of the foot here than it does in the top. And also you can see the different types of elastic almost in the different areas, like towards the bottom of the calf and at the top of the calf. And then in the middle, it leaves some room there for the calf muscle itself, it looks like. All right, let's try them on. Wow, these are nice. Usually I don't do cowboy boot socks, but these are super nice. Wow, the amount of support right here in the arch is very nice, and there's a ton of padding at the toes and at the ball of the foot. Not only that, but it comes all the way up to the knee, almost, and it is very comfortable. It is super comfortable. Like I said, we have a lot of dog hair on it now <laughs> because they're black and you can just notice the dog hair, but they have a lot of support here at the heel, which I did not expect. I like these socks a lot. All right, now let's try them with some boots. <sighs> try them with these Abilene's here. Okay, so yeah, I can definitely tell a difference. At the ball of the foot, there's a lot more support there than what you usually have with regular socks. That is incredible. Yeah, usually I'm not a boot sock kind of guy, but this is amazing. Uh, I really like the support in the heel and at the ball of the foot. I don't think I've felt that in any other sock that I've used before. So I might have to try to get more boot socks here in the future. 
So these are kind of a tight fitting boot. The last time I took them to the cobbler to get the soles changed, uh, I had to break them in again and I'm still working on breaking them in. Let me try another pair of boots, which is a little bit more, let me try them, let me try them with the new ostrich boots here. I'm feeling a lot of support right here in the, in the ball of the foot area, which is not something that I'm really used to when I wear socks, so that's super nice. I'm just wondering how long that feeling will actually last and also in the heel. Plus, these socks are definitely not gonna be falling down and I know that's one of the worst things about wearing socks with boots is that the socks, especially old socks and regular socks, just sort of fall down so you end up trying to bring your socks up all day long and it's a pain in the ass. But since these come up almost to the knee here, there's no chance that they're gonna be falling down anytime soon with the amount of elastic that is up here. And like I said, the elastic up here near the knee is much different than around the calf itself. These are very well designed socks and I can see why you guys like them so much. If it wasn't for the high price for each pairs of socks, then I would probably have more, but I understand why they are so expensive now there's a lot of detail that goes into boot socks. And I think I might be sold. Uh, I'll have to see if I can find them in bulk. Do you guys ever buy them in bulk and, and sort of buy like six at a time or maybe even 12 at a time? And is there a cheaper price for boot socks that if you do buy them in bulk? Let me know in the comments because I'd be interested in knowing how you guys buy boot socks. Anyways, that is it for today. I wanted to try out those boot socks because I am not a regular boot sock kind of guy. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on boot socks in the comments. Do you wear them? Do you say, screw it, I'll just wear regular socks like I have been doing uh, my entire boot career, my boot life, pretty much. So let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching today. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Peace, everybody. Yes, I'm sold on these boot socks and I'm ready to rock them everywhere. Yeah.